everyone. Welcome back to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a beautiful card for you that I am super excited to share. I'm using some of our new in-color cardstocks and ink pads and also this really fun cup of tea stamp set with the teacup bundle. And I'll have a couple other accessories as well. So we will go ahead and jump right in and get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. You can find all of the supplies that I use to create this card directly in my description below. Also at the very end of the video. And if you're watching this from mypinkstamper.com, it'll be right here for you, right on this page. And if you're in the USA, you can order any of this product directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. Okay, let's jump in. This card shouldn't take too long, and it's just so bright and happy. I'm actually making some of these for my customer, so you might be getting one of these in the mail if you are watching this, and you'll have to act surprised when you get that. Like, oh, I have never seen this before. <laughs> I didn't see you design this on a video, Robin, but I did. Okay, so let's jump in, and if you have this stamp set at home or one similar, do this along with me. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this project. Also, if you're going to try it or after you've tried it, I'd love to hear from you. So we are going to be using this stamp and this stamp. And also I'm using the thank you because uh, these are thank you cards for my amazing customers, but you can switch it out and use a different sentiment if you're using this bundle along with me. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp first, and we'll start with our Parakeet Party. This is one of our new in colors. Stampin' Up! releases five new colors every year, and then they're around for two years, so this one will be available for the next two years. I've got to pull my stuff closer to me. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp, so I'm going to grab one of our foam mats. This is actually for the, it's a Stamparatus foam mat, but I love to use it for my photopolymer stamps. It just gives you extra cushion because there's no foam with the photopolymer so you can see through them. So that is what makes them amazing if you're trying to really see the image that you're stamping. Okay, so I'm using Parakeet Party cardstock as well. And I'm just going to make one card today. Sometimes I make two of the same card, but I don't think I have the other paper ready, the other cardstock. So I'm just going to stamp that one time and then I'll put this away. Now I'm going to grab the next color, which is Starry Sky. It's really nice. It's kind of a, it's it's not super similar to our Night of Navy. It's got a little more violet in it. It's a really nice, beautiful, bright, brilliant card, color, brilliant blue color. So this is the card stock for the Starry Sky. And we're going to be using that with the striped teacup. And this is where you'll really notice if you have a foam underneath or because it's more solid. Whoops. So I have a nice image right there. Uh, now while I have this out, I'm going to grab a piece of Granny Apple. This is our Granny Apple Green. And it actually works really nicely with the Parakeet Party. Look at how they complement each other. So they're great to use in projects together. And I'm going to grab just the thank you. And I'm going to stamp this on the top left, right up here. And this piece of, what's, what, what size is this? Let me see. This piece of granny apple green is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And that's all of the stamping that we're doing. And we do have some die cut work. So I am going to pull out my stamping cut and emboss. Whoops. And I'm not editing anything out today if possible. So you'll hear all of the anything. You'll hear everything and that's fine. This is just what I do. Hopefully you'll feel like you're in my craft room with me and watching all of the things fall at my feet. Okay, I'll give you guys a better angle so you can see my stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you don't have a die cut machine, I highly re recommend Stampin' Up! stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. You can use it for your die cuts as well as embossing folders. And I'm going to show you both today. So let's go ahead and look at how well used my clear plate is. You will love that. Shows you that I'm really using, <laughs> using it a lot and I use it a ton. Okay, I am going to grab the teacup die from the teacup die set. 
And we'll do this one first and just kind of line it up. This is going to frame around it. It's okay if it's not perfect. Remember, paper crafting does not require perfection. You've heard me say that many times over the years, and maybe this is the first time you're hearing me say it. It's so true. You don't have to be perfect when you're making a handmade item. That's what gives us the creative feeling is that we can see sometimes there's a little little oopsie and it makes it a very special project. All right, now I'm going to do this one here. It kind of looks purple in the screen a little bit. Purple in this light. It's kind of purpley, not really, kinda, maybe. I guess it is whatever you want it to be. All right, so I have my two teacups and then now I am going to let me put that, set that aside. I am going to grab one of our layering circles dies. This is actually the largest in the collection. And I'm going to grab, this is also a new in color. And I, this has slipped my mind, um, a sorbet, <laughs> something sorbet. I'll have it on the screen right now. I don't want to go look it up. I don't want to stop filming this video. Um, this is just a scrap piece. I was working with this earlier. And I had this perfect scrap just for this circle. And also when I'm cutting my cardstock for projects, I usually cut it and I have a video from years ago showing how I do this. I cut my cardstock in half and then I will cut it in a, in, um, a quarter after that, just so I utilize my scrap. So now I can cut this piece off here and I can use that scrap as well. All right, so now I have my circle from the layering circles. And I'm going to use our new, we have a new uh, twigs and sprigs embossing folder. Where did I put that? Embossing folder. And it also has dies that work with this. So you actually can die cut and emboss. So after you emboss it, you can die cut them. It's just so awesome. I am just going to use this for the embossing though. And you can fit two in here if you want to make multiple. I like to mass produce my cards. I've, since I was first introduced to Stampin' Up, oh, that doesn't work. I have to change my folders up. I was introduced to Stampin' Up years ago in, I believe, 1999. It's been a long time. And the very first thing I did when I made cards is I mass produced. I made them in sets. So I think either four, eight, or 12. I've been doing that for over 20 years. And the reason why is one of the biggest things I used to do for gifts for my neighbors and my friends, I'd make them sets of cards. So if you haven't thought about doing that yet, it's really great and they love them and they request them every year and they want sets of cards that they can use. So um, anyway, I don't know how I went off on that tangent, but I did. And now we're gonna get back. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. I have a piece of the coordinating, so this bundle, is actually a suite in the new 2022 annual catalog. It's the very first suite you'll see in the catalog. So if you're kind of looking through, I'm not sure, I don't have my catalog next to me, um, the pages, you'll see the whole suite. And there's this uh, beautiful six by six coordinating designer series paper. And it's called T Boutique. And we're using this strip here. Look at these fun, bright colors. We're gonna use this strip and it's cut at hmm, one and three quarters by five inches. So I'm going to grab my adhesive. It's on the other side of the table, of course. Okay. And then I'm going to leave a little bit, probably about a, an eighth showing through on the bottom like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use this uh, twine and this comes in a set of four and I'll have the name on the screen with the item code for you guys. So you can look it up and see what it looks like, but they're it actually comes in a set of five. It's the five new in colors. So this is the parakeet color. So it coordinates. I'm going to put this on the back. Now I use just like the wrapping paper tape a lot when I'm putting on twine. I really, you can put adhesive too, but I really want it to be down there solid. So I'm going to do one straight across. It's a fun little cute little design with my twine. And I'm going to, up here I want it to be, uh, I want to kind of get bigger on the right side, just a little bit bigger, and then bring it to the, back to the same spot, and then a little bit bigger. Isn't that fun? So you can do all sorts of little 
designs with your twine. A design with your twine all the time. That one didn't rhyme. Ooh, I'm a poet, didn't know it. Actually, I do know it. I am a poet, ask my family. I rhyme all the time and I can do it on a dime. <laughs> you never know what Robin you're gonna get on my videos. And if you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe. I would love to have you. I'm posting a lot of videos these days. I have been on YouTube for almost 16 years, <laughs> for years and years and years. So I'm still here. I'm still doing these videos. Sometimes I do more than others, but I'm doing a lot again. So that's good. <laughs> okay, so I am adding adhesive to this and I'm going to add it right here onto the white. The white cardstock is our basic white and is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I scored it at four and a quarter, just ahead of the video. Okay, now I'm going to take this. So we embossed this circle, which I think is so fun to do. Don't forget to emboss your elements to add just a little more texture and fun. I'm adding some of our adhesive to the back of the uh, Starry Sky teacup. And it's going to go like that just a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be flat. Now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to grab our Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me add three to that one right there. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna add this right here. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm going to also, oops, I'm gonna knock my camera over first because I gotta do that. I'm going to add some Dimensionals to the back of this. And then take them off. These are two-sided foam, I don't want to say tabs, but um, mounts that will lift up your project to give it a more homemade look. And it's just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right here. And there's the other one I made. And I hope you liked today's video. Please leave me a comment. I'm, I'm not begging for comments, but I love to hear from you and I read every single one of them. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget, you can visit me directly on my website, mypinkstamper.com. You'll see more projects, you'll see a weekly giveaway, and just everything that's going on with my online classes and everything else. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.